Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie the one-handed surgical knot with your left hand. I like the one-handed tie because it's fast, it's easier to tie with an instrument attached to your thread, and it makes you look good in the OR. So to orient you, as always, we have the incision pointing away from us, and the needle is attached to our purple string. We're going to take our needle driver and thread from left to right, giving us the needle on the right, maybe an instrument attached as well. I like to call this purple string the post. Essentially, you're going to grab onto it, hold tight, and other than some positioning, you're really not going to do too much. I'm going to be moving my hand around a lot during this video just to point things out, but really you're not going to do too much with this. The majority of the work is going to be done with your left hand. So to tie the first knot, you're going to drape it across your palm. You're going to pinch the string between your pointer finger and your thumb, open your hand up, and karate chop the white string. I like to call this technique the karate chop. At the post, you're going to drape it over in the opposite direction. With your middle finger, you're going to go over the purple string and under the white string and extend. You can see that we form an X across your hand. You're going to pinch the white string between your middle finger and your ring finger and pull it through the loop you created. You can see that we formed an overhand knot. And we're going to pull it tight. And that gives us our first knot. So let's tie the second one. You're going to start the same way. You're going to secure the string with your bottom three fingers and essentially just extend your pointer finger. You can help position it with your thumb and this kind of looks like a claw so I like to call this technique the claw. You're going to take the post and wrap it around your pointer finger in the opposite direction. You're going to do the same move as before but this time with your pointer finger. You're going to go over the purple and under the white with the help of your thumb. This time we only have one finger we can't grab the white string to pull it through, so we're going to rotate our hand backwards and with our pointer finger pull the free end through the loop. Again, this gives us an overhand knot. We pull it tight and we've got our first square knot. So to tie a square knot with the one-handed technique, first the karate chop, next the claw, and you get a square knot. When we tie the second knot, we're going to pay attention to which direction to pull the strings. So to start, secure your post, and karate chop the string. Drape it over in the opposite direction, go over the purple under the white, pinch it, and pull it through. Now when we set up the karate chop, if you were to drape out the free end, you can see that it points away from you. So when you tighten it, pull it in the same way, pull it away from you. When we do the claw, let's tie this real quick, go over under, you can use your thumb to help position this and rotate it through to pull it out. When we set the claw up, you can see that the free end is already pointing towards us, so pull the free end towards you. There you go. You've got our second square knot. With the one-handed technique, it's a little more difficult than the two-handed tie, so repetition is key. Let's tie a few more knots just to really get at the hang of this. So karate chop, drape it over. Go over under with your middle finger, pinch it, and pull it through. And with the karate chop, you pull the free end away from you. With the claw, loop it over, over under, rotate away, pull it through, and tighten it by pulling the free end towards you. There's your third knot. We're going to tie a couple more knots, and while we're doing this, I'm going to share the camel fun fact of the day. Um, camels do not have horrible kyphosis. Uh, their spines are actually straight, and the hump sits right on top. So there you go. And we'll do the one more claw here. Give us our fourth square knot. And we have some time, so let's tie one more. Karate chop. Over under. Pull it through. You can see that if you pull it a little bit too tight before you get the end out, can be a little bit tough. And finally, the claw, and pull it towards you. So there you go. That is the one-handed surgical tie with your left hand. Again, repetition is key. Uh, feel free to watch this video as many times as you'd like until you get it right. Um, and check out my other videos on how to tie a sliding knot with the one-handed technique. I think this is the most useful knot you can know in the OR. So check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck.